The Ferrari's aerodynamic plan seems to be doing something quite different from all the others whereby you can see a steep angle vortex spray coming off from the undernose steeply angled upwards above the side pods it seems this is unique to Ferrari and all the other racing cars are not doing this or their interpretation of this is much more leaner than what the Ferrari is doing here yeah? he was the driver at risk as well but he was on the wrong side of the uh, the dividing line and at the moment it's his teammate Charles Leclerc who actually put him down into the bottom five who can do something about it again yeah I mean the driver was really a risk guy 11 3 15 done there but <laughs> Leclerc needs to put the time in so Ferrari Vettel's gone in for a fresh set of tires by the looks of it it's quite timely to do that but uh, Leclerc needs to get himself helping him too Hamilton looks a little bit close here he is now uh, to Lance Stroll but this is a personal best lap uh, gone off a bit would be at all surprised if it wasn't at turn three but they've carried on fairly quickly it was turn three and it was Alex Albon who spun in the Red Bull Albon currently seventh fastest and not the first time he spun this weekend he's had spins in the dry as well as Valtteri Bottas the man on pole this time side pod which I think is where the batteries are, uh, are kept isn't it on the uh, on the Haas car just to see if there's any damage there this is about downforce about balance drivability how does the engine deliver its power to you, you all of your throttle maps uh, and uh, you can have a stroll up to ninth as uh, you're reading that out Crofty but yeah it's getting a bit late isn't it for anybody to come in and throw another set of wets at it so they'll have to make the best of what they've got and all the one this time last week so what happens you start to just lose all the square edges off the tread blocks and maybe the rubber out of the way of it as he was coming onto the straight that might have hampered um, Alexander Albon a touch because he was just coming around the final corner when the yellow flags would have been waving and Albon is in a bit of danger at the moment I wonder where through the field uh, yes I, I can't wait to hear from the drivers and hear what they thought of their experiences at the end of this what a great qualifying session it has been and we're into the last two and three quarter minutes I'm so pleased we're running this and not hiding away from the weather you know to say let the drivers show their bravery and their skill it's what it's all about. this is what f1's all about i totally agree with you carlos Sainz is going from mclaren to ferrari next year probably now to himself and pierre gasly valtteri bottas has spray from esteban ocon's renault may be affecting him he goes very wide indeed and uh, through the penultimate corner it's really light rain you, you want to be on the best tires possible right at the last moment you do as I said there's a sweet spot when you when they're absolutely uh, nicely bedded in and before they get too hot what's Leclerc doing on this lap um, nothing and nothing so yeah he's got to put some tires I on I wonder it. what he has done though with Danny Kvyat the uh, the stewards are going to look at a turn nine incident between overall sector times and that's bad news for Magnus and Kvyat Stroll Russell and Leclerc in the bottom five you can hear the wheel spin of the Ferrari on his shifts a long way out of the corner there there's not a great amount of grip out there at the moment seven tenths down through the first sector on Lewis Hamilton's uh, time which is the best first sector so far Leclerc two tenths uh, off the pace oh, it's raining hard isn't it it's, it's raining, raining hard and hard. Some five Bottas has done a personal best middle sector though and a fastest lap as you can see top left an 18.6 so it's doable science also a personal best in the middle sector so that doesn't seem too shabby there doesn't seem too wet but uh, Ferrari then under pressure for the second consecutive Saturday so Ferrari needing personal best needing to improve their position here you can see the Y250 vortex in a form of a condensation trail left by the front wing here uh, you know, it wasn't an easy run for anybody there's mistakes just lurking at every corner and uh, even for him in this car you know it wasn't wasn't always 